All right, here we go again. Namaste ji. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another one of Ronnie's vlogs. A uh, beautiful mid-April day over here. It's been raining for the past three days and uh, today we thought uh, why not go on a beautiful hike since we have such a beautiful day. It's a really crisp day, like karak almost, like 4K. <laughs> so uh, there's this area that we've been eyeing for the longest time north of Manali. Uh, I thought today's a great day to go hiking. So uh, let's begin. Are you coming with us today? Good looking. Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> what a handsome doggo. Oh, oh, you're loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So spring is like definitely one of my favorite times of the year, you know, and especially after like a long, dreary winter. It feels so good to see life coming back into the valley with the flowers blooming and the insects buzzing and everything just starts becoming really lush and green. And it's almost like you can say like a new beginning hai na? and it's so full of like hope and so full of energy and it's just like a great way to like attack the year <laughs> I feel What are you doing? Come on Come 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 Achha, so the agenda for today is to basically reach this uh, waterfall which Bhati and I spotted from really far off and that's the thing whenever we, were, whenever we are driving in Manali we always come across these beautiful places you know beautiful meadows and you're like one day we're gonna go there so yeah the aim is to reach there today and uh, let's see in true spirit of exploration like I always say you see a stream, follow it. You see a mountain top, climb it. And that's what we're doing today. So we are basically walking through a young Deodar forest. By young, I mean these trees are like five, ten years old. Basically, the authorities uh, conduct these plantation drives from time to time throughout the state. And uh, this kind of ensures to maintain like the balance between the older trees that either die or are chopped down and the newer ones which are being grown for the future. I just met these aunties ah. who were collecting ah. Gucci's ah. and they had Gucci's that were like this big, Ronnie, this big, like Huge. pine cone size. That's really big. Oh, it's so big. It's so big. It's so big. It's so big. Okay. Wow. Look. Hey! <laughs> Bap re! I haven't seen this in my life. Look. Wow. What will you do with this? You can buy it in a little bit. अच्छा ये कट बेच देते हैं ऐसे बेचने के लिए खाने के लिए नहीं बना रहे खाने के लिए भी होते हैं ना खाने के लिए होते दवाई होती इसकी क्या दवाई बनती है इससे ऐसे बोलते जैसे बिशाब रुक गया कुछ हो गया तब इसका काढ़ा बना के देना अच्छा ओह वरना सब्जी बनाते सब्जी भी बनाते अच्छा बढ़िया मीट की तरह बढ़िया हाउ मच डू यू थिंक अ किलो इज गोइंग फॉर दीस डेज लास्ट आई थिंक आई चेक टू इज लाइक 12 ग्रैंड आर यू क्रेजी it's way more than more. That. Twelve thousand rupees a kilo is like wow. Wait, wait, let me check. Between twenty to forty thousand rupees a kilo, no. depending on the quality. No. Come, let's look for Kya some. What are we doing? What are we Okay, so out of the forest area now, onto this big ass meadow. What do you think, Bati? Should we take a break? Yeah, I think so. Relax a bit. Where's yeah. Samuel? Samuel, come here. <laughs> We just met Samuel this morning. He's become our best buddy. 
Beautiful meadows, sunny day. Man, sometimes I get surprised by Manali. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so I true. live here and I get surprised. <laughs> Okay guys, so before we go any further, I would like to thank uh, the sponsors for today's video, a brand called Mama Earth. Now, about a month back, uh, they sent us like a huge care package full of like uh, face wash, body wash, hair oils, all kinds of products. Uh, basically, the Upton uh, range of uh, body care products. Bhati and I don't really have the best of skin mostly because of all the time we spent outdoors and this mountain sun out here because the UV rays are so strong. You know, you don't get that beach tan over here. You straight away burn. So Ronnie and I have been using these Mama Earth products for a little over a month now and we've noticed a definite change in the texture of our skins. I mean I swear like it just feels so much softer and smoother and like healthier. Like the Uptan face mask in particular worked like an absolute charm for both of us you know. So Uptan as some of you might know is like an ancient Ayurvedic recipe which uses saffron, turmeric, apricot oil and a bunch of other good stuff. Now this combo of natural ingredients helps take care of really really bad tans and that's exactly what Ronnie and I needed. So like when we put the mask on you know it felt so natural and like earthy and not chemically at all so that was like a big plus. And also when obviously when we washed it off like it left our skin feeling so bright and fresh and absolutely rejuvenated. Now, all of Mama Earth's products are completely toxin-free and uh, they're made up of natural ingredients. So not only are they good for us, their runoff does not pollute the environment. The other cool thing about Mama Earth is that every time you place an order with them, they will link this order with a tree that they'll plant. And uh, you can actually track the growth of this tree using your order ID. Now, honestly, guys, Bhati and I never thought we would promote like skincare products on our channel, you know. Uh, but this particular brand, Mama Earth, and the products especially, you know, they kind of stood out for us. So make sure you check out their website. Uh, they are also available on uh, Amazon and on Nika. You can use the code RNB2021 to get a 20% off. All the links are mentioned in the description. Okay, guys, so now we are in the grown up forest. <laughs> Earlier we were in the Piddu forest. <laughs> So many different trees, man. Yeah. Do you know all of them? Yeah. This, the yellow kind. The olive leaf. The olive kind, yeah, that's uh, oak. Huh. This Christmassy tall ones. Huh. These are fir trees. Huh. And uh, the one over there, like these bare ones which don't have uh, leaves, yeah, leaves yeah. right now, uh, these are walnut. Oh. So when lightning strikes sometimes, it strikes a tree. And this is what happens to the tree <laughs> black charcoal and that's why shepherds don't usually camp in tree areas they camp close to tree areas but they like to camp during a bad weather they like to camp a little further from the or not right under the trees basically check it out crazy huh check out the flow on this tree too good. Crazy. Too good. Only if we like, you know, got inspired by nature and built our own houses like this with flow in them rather than just right boxes. angles and boxes. Yeah, I know. It's like that song. Little boxes on the hillside, yeah. little boxes on the ticky tacky. What show was that? Weeds. Weeds, weeds. That was a good show. Okay, so we have reached the waterfall area. It's like a deep gorge down there. Uh, there's a lot of snow as well. We have to walk through like a bit of snow. But I think we will have to go down. It's a little slippery, yeah? I'll come back for you, hold on.
Chakke Cat's secret location. <laughs> But I don't think this is the one that Ronnie and I spotted from the road because this is way too concealed. So I think we're gonna go. Should we go further downstream to try and find those? Yes, yes. Yeah. that Ronnie and me have been eyeing for a really long time now and we finally made it and I'm sorry we have to come into the forest to talk to you because the sound next to the water is just inaudible but anyway how cool is this how freaking cool is this like dude from the top to where we walk we've already seen the water go dropping into like seven different steps and I think the further downstream we go the more falls we'll keep finding and it's just so so beautiful man like I wish it was like warm enough for us to jump into the pool because it's so freaking inviting right now. But uh, for today, I think just watching this beautiful thing is going to do. All right, guys, that was a beautiful end to a very, very beautiful uh, spring day out here in Manali. Uh, the only sad part was uh, Samuel there. Samuel couldn't make it to the last part. Uh, he just turned around and left us. Anyways, uh, like I said earlier, man, like, you know, even though I live in Manali, it keeps surprising me <laughs> every now and then. And uh, that's the thing with nature, you know. Uh, sometimes you have to go out there, take that extra step, go the extra mile to seek certain places. And uh, that's when nature just opens its arms, you know, and provides you with such gifts. Before we go, guys, uh, look who found us. Samuel! Good boy! <laughs> Give him a biscuit! Where did you find him?